Welcome back to the forge. I'm Rob. Let's make something. Okay, so we got a big day today at the forge here. We have to uh, finish working on our D guard. We need to get that all fitted up. I have a, hang on. I have a chunk of wood here uh, that came off of a file that somebody had given me. Uh, so I'm gonna cheat a little bit and I'm gonna use this. It already has a hole, I don't know if you, there you go. It already has a hole in it, so we're gonna try to just burn that tang in. And then we're gonna glue it all up later after we get everything fitted together. We have to make a uh, pommel as well. Put a little hole through that. I gotta taper down the end of the tang. Cause we're gonna try to pin that on. I've never done that before. We're also gonna glue it all together. Uh, but we are going to try to get us a good peen on something. And then we're gonna try to heat treat this bad boy. It is going to be a little bit of a process. Uh, I also have a little side project I need to work on. I got a buddy of mine that wants to try to put together a coat rack. And so we're gonna see about making a couple of those just to kind of see, see what's up, you know. I'm down for new challenges. So anyways, um, let's do that. So I think that's gonna work for what we're working with here. Excellent. guard we're working on the uh, getting out some of the groove that's why I got all the marker all over it but it's, it's cleaning up pretty good look at it that's looking sexy all right while we're gonna while we're here we're going to uh, 
straighten that out just a little bit more because it kind of swells up a little bit and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and burn our piece of wood on Oh yeah, we gotta thin that down a little bit. Should add a V8. All right, all right, all right. Look, that's better. Hey, since we're in between things, why don't you go down and like and subscribe? We got better stuff coming. I think that worked. We're gonna let this cool off a little bit and we're gonna try to test it on. All right, well this is uh, coming together pretty quickly. So while we're waiting for that to cool down, we're gonna go ahead and work on our pommel, end cap, fancy name for that. Uh, all we need is a chunk of metal with a hole. So we can do that. All right, so we found this piece of round stock. We're gonna cut us off a little piece, and then we're gonna scrunch it down, cut it, hold it, stick it. Okay, so while that is heating back up, we're gonna work on this uh, coat rack a little bit. Uh, start there. Never made me a coat rack before. We're not making the whole rack, we're just doing a proof of concept, I guess, just to make sure that uh, Rob Knives is up to the challenge. Which, by the way, I do not doubt at all.
Alright, so we got locked up. Our straightness is looking pretty good from here. It just had a little bit of a bow in it, so I wanted to get that taken care of. And uh, once that finishes cooling down, we'll do a file test on it just to make sure it did get hardened. Because uh, that was a little crazy. Slosh, slosh, slosh. Um, I don't really care for that, but, you know, sometimes it is what it is. You know what I mean? So, uh, well, that's doing its thing there. Let's head back over here to the uh, coat rack. Okay, so file test. Hard. Problema. We got a little curviness. Yeah, you see, better that way. Huh? Not too bad. Looks like it's mainly here. So we're gonna try. To uh, kind of heat it up a little bit and straighten that out because I don't. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Okay, so that is a major warp. What we're going to do is we're going to clamp it up and straight, straight on either side of it, sandwich it in, clamp it together, and then temper it. And hopefully, hopefully the tempering process will uh, relax it enough to let it stay straight. I'm going to uh, temper it at uh, two, two hour cycles at 400 degrees. Uh, let it cool down in between each one. So. I don't know if we're still going to be filming by then. So the next time that you see this thing, it will be uh, polished and put together, hopefully straight, and uh, head over to uh, Rob Knives on Facebook page. You'll see my little logo there. It's going to pop up here. Booyah. And uh, check it out. We're going to do us some cuts and stuff there. If everything comes together uh, so we're going to uh, finish up this coat rack here and then uh, that'd be the it for the, today's video a little bit of fit and finish and put it back I, 
I might chime back in later on. I, I don't really know quite yet, but uh, we will see. So uh, let, let's finish knocking this out. All right, well, I thought you were looking. You weren't. Uh, bar. Something else I've learned messing with this uh, coat rack is I need to taper down the first part first. Because after it's all said and done, I get it split, I get the two little things twisted up and curled up. They're going to be a lot thinner than the larger hook on top. And I don't really care for that, but it's 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 there now without having to just start all the way over. Um, I'm just addressing it now, mental note, for next time. Man, we made us coat rack. It's not... Oh, okay. Yeah, that, it ain't too bad. Yeah, that's pretty straight. Little twisties. So, that's about it. Um, we're about to throw the sword in the temper, and we're gonna let that temper, and hopefully that works out for us. And uh, we might chime in later, but uh, just in case we don't, uh, be cool, and make cool stuff. Oh, 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 oh.